Hi guys, so I'm here. It's like seven in the beach. And I'm doing a very sacred ceremony. It's already triggering me, to be honest. And I'm going to exercise the gin, the, the gin of addiction. And we got Square here. He's in the zone, man, him in the zone. And then you have Bug over there, so who's preparing. And as you can see, they dug a hole, which they're gonna essentially bury me in. And I'm gonna sit there for an hour. I'm not gonna speak. And I'm going to essentially be buried to quote unquote death and then resurrected. So then they'll dig me out and when I come out of there, I am no longer addicted to ganja. May I come off all of that sitting. I have too much to be conscious and aware and sober for. I have too much energy to be spoiled and squandered on no gin. So it's so hard. I've been crying. Yeah, I've been feeling like irritated and just bawling since yesterday. That's why my eyes are kind of puffy. And it's because my inner demon knows what's about to happen. It's going to be attacked. It's going to be G-checked. It's going to be put in its place in an area where it gets to just be free because I've healed myself from so many addictions but this one here it's almost like my shadow was like well you know I don't do this 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 and this so I should be able to do this and then smoke so much that I don't eat and I get diarrhea and you know it's just anything that isn't in moderation can have very negative effects on you you know what I mean so I'm just, I feel triggered, I feel a little frightened, and um, I feel, more importantly, I feel excited. There's a donkey, so the donkey that I rode yesterday, we're going to go and try to save it, we're going to go try to rescue it still, and take it up to country to go live the rest of its life in just like a decent type of way. So it's very spiritual. And then I was mad because I wasn't really mad, but when I went to the horse ranch or whatever, I felt I was so excited to just do it, you know, and be it, do it in country and not in some like fancy resort or something. Like it was such a country experience. The trail was beautiful. But then I realized that they gave there, so there was two other white people on the tour from, I think they were from America or Canada but um, and then me and they gave them like fancy the best horses on their ranch and then they gave me one donkey but me I don't I don't even fucking notice I'm just like oh my god it's so beautiful like I just I was just really my inner child was just really excited I haven't done something like that since a kid but then when I really booked the play I was just like mm, that didn't sit well with me and I told the men, them like, let's try to find a different ranch. And they were saying, I mean, we were, because they were chilling there. They didn't do the tour with me, but they were chilling there for all, like, for like two and a half hours, just talking to the owner, like, scoping out the scene, talk, seeing the horses. They're like, those horses aren't treated good. They're not taken care of the way they should be. And the man's all in it for the money, you know? So then when I got back home, Square was explaining to me the significance of the donkey. touched me man it made me feel like we should go back and get the donkey but yeah we're gonna see we're gonna try you know all we can do is once God gives us the urge and the impulse all we can do is try you know but if God wants that donkey free it's gonna be free if that if God wants that donkey to come home with we it's coming home with us period <sighs> I told them I was going to threaten the man and be like, how old is the donkey? If the donkey's 12, then you and yours are going to be cursed for 12 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm emotional and my shadow is on one right now, but I think this is going to be good for me as you almost finish. I'm about to do the sacred ceremony here. 
That's where the Frankie go. Frankie. And Frankie. Uh oh, Bingy took out his locks. You know it's sacred ceremony. So, so I'm gonna go on and meditate and get ready for this. And I will see you guys on the other side. I love you. Mwah. Bye.
Guys, I'm saying. Of your might to race, you can go and accomplish what you will. Okay. All right. 
the world great. I think they knew they were things in green before. So they came around the street again. Don't step away. Stand up, stand up, ready? Stand up, stand up. Where's the deal? Walk on the spot, left, right. Stop, left, right, left. Stop, right. 